Hi, no, this is not Christine. This is Holly, um, Holly Thompson. So I'm teaching the core strength class today at the JCC and I'm really glad you guys could tune in. So what you can expect on this class is that we're gonna do some core challenging moves. We're gonna do some stuff on mat Pilates on the floor. So if you have a thick mat, please get that. If you don't have a thick mat, you have a really thick padded carpet, that should work fine. Uh, you don't wanna be on a hardwood floor. Uh, if you have some uh, yoga mats, you could stack them together to make them thick, okay? Um, weights are optional. I have a couple of light hand weights here. These are three pounds. If you have something that's like one to eight pounds, you could use those. I recommend favoring on the side of lighter than heavier. So again, these are threes. I use nines for some other stuff, but not on this standing routine. We're only gonna use the weights during the warm up, and the warm up part will only be about five. So if you don't have weights, please do the work anyway. You can practice the moves and you'll still get some strength training without the weights, okay? So I'm super excited to teach you guys. First thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna practice uh, lengthening the spine, okay? So we're gonna stand with the feet in a neutral position. You're gonna get nice and tall, okay? So getting nice and tall is gonna look as this. So we've got like a line up here and we wanna, we wanna get to that line. So we're lengthening the spine. You're gonna take the arms out to the side of the body, a little bit in front. Move your arms in front, up overhead, and back down by the side. We're gonna keep going through these moves with the arms. Now, core strength is, is gonna be strengthening our core muscles, which are considered to be the glutes, the abdominals, the side abdominals, and the back muscles. Okay, so four main muscle groups that we're focusing on in this class. Okay, so we're staying nice and tall. That's gonna activate the spinal muscles. We're gonna to start to strengthen the postural muscles, right? Might feel your heart rate coming up just a little bit with these arm movements. That would be normal. And that's good, okay? Take some nice deep breaths. And we're gonna keep moving these arms in the, circu in the circular motion, right? In front, up overhead, and back out to the side. Okay? Then lower the arms down. Now, if you have some light hand weights, uh, grab those. If you have a couple of small dogs, they will work. Just something that doesn't weigh too much that, that you can hold. All right, so we're gonna go through a little routine. Again, you can do this with no weights, all right? So pull the elbows in, get nice and tall, and we're gonna externally rotate, turn out, all right? They're getting really creative over here with making home weights, right? You can use bottles of liquid laundry detergent, something we've been using. Also empty out any kind of beverage container and put water in there. Plastic bottle works really good. All right, so bring the arms in. We're gonna do this lateral raise, butterfly, right? Toning the arms, right? So what we're focusing on is this upper kind of round looking muscle on the upper part of the arm. Makes for good looking arms. Now this is often very challenging if you haven't been practicing stuff like this, right? You might feel a little bit of activation or burning in the arms already, especially if you use a computer a lot. Great for just all over shoulder toning. Okay, anytime we're moving the arms out big like this, we're challenging our balance a little bit. So you might feel your weight shift. Guess what that means? We're challenging the core. Your core is responsible for keeping you balanced and stable. So you might feel a little bit of activating through the abs already. All right, so the next one we're gonna do, it's optional that you come into a little mini body weight squat. You can, if you want to, it'll challenge you a little more. I'm coming in this position so you can see me a little better for this move. We're gonna take the arms down, bring them up to the shoulders, and then reach them up overhead. Bring them back to the shoulders and back down. A little bit of a shoulder press. Okay, again, as we move the arms overhead, guess what's stabilizing us, right? Our core, our abs. To make this a little bit more um, potent or uh, more ab toning, what I want you to do is start to pull the navel in just a little bit, right? While we're moving, while you're breathing, 
pull the navel in toward your spine just a little bit to create a little bit of a flat ab feeling and that will help create a little bit of a flat ab look. All right, that's step one in toning the abs. Navel to spine nice and tight. Let's do another one of these shoulder presses. All right, excellent. So we're gonna do another little upper body move here. I came up a little bit, I'm gonna bend a tad, the arms back. This is gonna help tone the upper back of the arms called the triceps. And again, you might feel your body weight shifting. That's gonna be your core engaging a little bit to stabilize you. But try to reduce the body weight shifting as much as you can. And you'll feel the core area kick in a little more. All right, great. We're gonna go through that step one more time. So elbows in, slight bend of the knees, stay nice and tall, and we're rotating out. So this one's gonna activate the rotator cuff muscles. They're tiny muscles, so don't overdo it with this one. These muscles are in the back around the shoulder blade, especially on the top of the shoulder blade. Okay, next one we're doing is this raising, lateral raise or butterfly. Get the weights nice and high, you want them about shoulder height, along with your elbows, also about shoulder height. All right, getting nice and strong at home. All right, great. Now, if you want to come into a little mini squat, you can. We're going to go into this shoulder press. Get those arms up. Bring them back to the shoulders and down. Might be starting to feel this a little bit already. Getting the shoulder muscles nice and warm. Okay, one more of these shoulder presses. All right, great job, everybody. All right, now we've got one more to do in this arm series for the upper body, and we're gonna press back. Triceps, right? You wanna reach back, and then bring the arms back to forward, right? The strengthening part is gonna be on the reaching back. That back of the upper arm. Okay, one more of these. All right, awesome. If you had weights or something creative, a couple dogs, cats, water bottles, whatever, sacks of rice, <laughs> put those away. Now the next thing we're gonna do is gonna move a little more of a total body to warm up some of the lower body, some of the core muscles, the glutes, right? So we're gonna do a little squatting, a body weight squat. If you have weights, you wanna grab those, you can. Remember, we're still warming up. So if you've already done some warm up before this class, you might wanna grab Couple of weights, hold it. Cats, <laughs> whatever, right? You can add weight to this if you hold something close to your chest. I'm doing just a body weight version. Now keep doing these. I'm gonna change the camera angle so you can see the lower body a little bit more, okay? My feet are a little bit wider than my hips and I'm just bending my knees a little bit. I'm not taking my pelvis down to knee height, definitely not on the floor, right? So just like, here we go, there's a cat good home resistance tool, right? So just kind of a little mini squat. Now it's gonna strengthen our glutes and our legs. Important part of the core is the glutes. Take your arms, cross your, on your chest, even if you're not holding a weight. And please listen to your own body. Do you have any knee inflammation or something's going on? Might not be the best exercise to do today. So modify it uh, so that you're safe. All right, cool. So now we're gonna come into a side position and we're gonna do a little side stepping or lunging. Go ahead and start this exercise. I'm gonna adjust the camera a little bit so you can see a little bit better where my feet are. So I'm basically stepping directly out to the side. Now again, please listen to your body. Now you may be stepping a little narrower to feel safe and that's totally fine. You can also bend both knees instead of keeping this leg straight. Right. That's going to actually gain you a little more quads. And we're using those glutes as we come back up, right? OK, 
Okay, stepping it out and back in. Let's do one more on this side. All right, cool. We're gonna step to the other side. I'm gonna create a little more space so I have room to do that side step. And you can cross your arms in front of your chest, which will actually challenge your balance a little more. You may notice more activation through the pelvic muscles. All right, again, you can bend both knees if you want to. Right, might start feeling the heart rate raise a little bit. That's normal as we work some of those bigger muscles and the legs, right? All right, cool. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn so we can do a forward lunge, right? I turned so I could stay on the mat so you could see it better. But we're stepping one leg a little bit from the other into this front lunge position. Okay, let's go ahead and do one more, pushing down and coming back. Let's switch that to the other leg. Okay, I'm really using my leg muscles as I step onto the floor in front of me to um, create more power. I'm trying to push into the floor. I want the lower body to be grounded, right? Kind of push that floor away for you. All right, one more on this side. All right, excellent. You guys are doing great, all right? So you can see that nice thick mat on the floor. We're gonna go down to the floor and do some core challenging stuff with some Pilates infused exercises. So I'm gonna move the camera. Everyone get on the floor in a way that feels comfortable for you and safe for you. And we're gonna start laying on our backs with our knees bent feet on the floor. Okay, first exercise, we're gonna do some bridging, and it's gonna really challenge your glutes and also strengthen some of the spinal muscles in your back. We're gonna lift, squeeze that butt, squeeze those glutes, and bring it back down. You might find your pets wanna get involved <laughs> once you get on the floor. Mine are kind of used to it. They used to always jump on me when I did floor exercises at home, but <laughs> they certainly for the first while that I did it were getting involved. <laughs> they can be fun, right? It can be a great time to spend some extra time with your pets now that we're all at home now, right? But why not get strong, right? We want to maintain our workouts and use resistance exercises like these body weight exercises. Hand, light hand weights, really important for building uh, and maintaining muscle strength. Okay, let's do another one of these bridges. Get there, hold it this time, squeeze those glutes, lift high, right? You might want to imagine you have like a piece of paper in between your butt cheeks and we're going to keep it in place. We don't want to drop it. So you're going to squeeze together a lot and lift. You might feel a lot of stretching to the front of the hips. That's also what we're doing here. And we're also activating these hamstrings right at the back of the thighs. So we're gonna lift this, we're gonna hold it a little bit longer. We're gonna hold it about 15 more seconds. Keep that squeeze, right? Squeeze, press those arms back, lift, lift high. Whew, so it might be feeling a little burning. I'm feeling a little burning in my hamstrings and my glutes. Keep that lift. All right, a little more squeezing, a couple more seconds. And then we're gonna bring it back down to the floor. All right, great job building those everybody. So now walk your feet together. We're going to slide the arms out a few inches here, and we're going to take the legs up to this tabletop position. We're going to drop the knees about halfway over to one side. So your hips will, will roll a little bit off the mat, and then we're going to roll the other side. So this is going to challenge the side abdominals here. You want to keep your back rounding into the mat, so you don't want it to arch up. Stay rounded, and we're going to go side to side. We're gonna add a little breath cue or timing to help uh, accentuate the side abdominal work. So what we're gonna do is breathe with your knees over to the side, exhale as you come to the center. We'll do that to the other side. Breathe in, over, exhale as you come to the center. Drop the knees a little bit further down this time. Exhale, come to the center, and then go to the other side. Try to keep both shoulder blades down as much as you can. 
We're gonna do one more set of these. All right, awesome. Let's go ahead and lower the feet. Now for the next exercise, we're gonna use the weight of our legs. And some of us have longer, thicker legs than other, others, but <laughs> that's okay because they can be helpful in toning the abs in this exercise. So the weight of the legs is gonna create resistance on the smaller abdominal muscle. So this one, we're gonna come into a frog position. So your knees are a little wider than the shoulders. The heels are together. My feet are turned out just a little bit. Arms gonna come down. We're gonna round the low back into the mat. So you're tightening the navel to the spine a little bit. We're gonna press the legs out and bend back into this frog. So your heels are staying connected. Our back is staying rounded into the mat. Now to challenge a little more, try to press a little further out to more of a 45 degree angle in relationship to the floor and ceiling, right? If your back is arching though, take the legs up more vertical. You wanna keep that back down to protect it and also to add more core strength component. So back flatter is gonna challenge the abs a little more. All right, let's do two more of these. All right, awesome everybody. Now the next thing you wanna do is straighten the legs, both legs up towards the ceiling, and we're gonna lower the legs, just keeping them straight, and bring them up. Again, keep that back down, keep that navel pulled the spine, flatten the abs. Okay, we're gonna do one more of these. All right, excellent. Now we've got one more leg exercise we're gonna do to challenge the abs. For this one, you're gonna stretch the legs out, turn out so the heels are together. Open the legs and bring them together. This is gonna work the inner thighs a little bit, but you're probably feeling it in the abs too, but they're definitely working there. All right, awesome, <laughs> bring the legs in, give yourself a hug and roll side to side. So I hope everybody at home is feeling these, right? So you wanna be feeling this in the abs, that's the whole point. So if you're not, try to get that low back flat. And again, just stay focused on the navel to spine. We'll play with the body positions like I'm showing you. So the next one we're gonna do is this. We're gonna stay back on the mat, right? We were here before, kind of rolling. Now, you're gonna bring both legs in. You can bring your head up if you have no neck uh, issues or injuries in the past, right? If you do, you want to leave the head down. And what we're going to do is press the legs out, take the arms up, arms overhead, and bring it back in, right? Press the legs out, take the arms up, overhead, and back in. If you want to do it with your head lifted, the same thing. It adds a little more challenge to the abs with the head lifted. Now your abs have to support that weight too. Should be feeling this again where? In the abs, right? Stretch it. Woo! Overhead and bring it back in. Two more of these, right? Stretch it. Up. Overhead and back in. And then one more. Stretch it. Arms up. Overhead and back in. All right, well done. Go ahead and roll side to side. That's a challenging one. So good for you for doing that and staying focused and showing up to this class. You're doing something healthy for you. And your loved ones benefit the more healthy you are, the more stress-free you are. It benefits everybody around you. So congratulations. We've got some more time in this class. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna come up to uh, an all fours position. So if you have any knee injuries or issues, you may not wanna do this exercise or modify it, okay? So we're gonna do this one on the floor, for those of you that are okay on hands and knees. And what we're gonna do is reach out opposite arm and leg and bring it down. This is gonna challenge your back and butt. Out and down. Keep going through that exercise. I'm gonna see how much time we have. And we're golden. We have about, looks like it's at 20 minutes. We have 10 more minutes, okay? 
So we're reaching out and in. You want to keep everything as stable as you can. If you're wobbling all over the place, to help stabilize, you might want to try looking at a point on the floor. See if that helps. Okay, one more. And out and bring it back in. All right, you guys are doing great. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna come back up to a standing position any way that feels safe for you. All right, excellent. Let's go right into some little bodyweight squats. Now before they were mini, let's see if we can go just a little bit deeper. Okay, lower the hips and come up. Keep going. Right? So see if you can get a little bit deeper than we did before. Okay, as you're going through these, if you have weights nearby, you can certainly hold them to add a little more resistance to your squat. If you don't, again, they're not necessary. But if you have the tools, let's make use of it while you're at home. Sometimes you have these things laying around for years and no one ever took the time to show you how to use them. So it could be a great time to dust these off. All right. I know I have a bunch of dumbbells and I didn't use them as much before until after now, right? So sometimes it's a great time to use that stuff we've had at home. All right, let's do one more of these. All right, awesome. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do a couple of exercises using your wall, okay? If you have wall space, check out around your room. There's a couple cool ones you guys can do on your wall for strengthening your core. So the first one is gonna be coming into basically a push-up position. So I'm stepping back about two or three feet from the wall and I'm putting my hands on the wall, like right in front of my shoulders basically, right? So from here, I'm gonna go into this push-up. You wanna keep the abs tight and don't let your hips pitch back. You wanna keep in a straight line through your body. Okay, that was eight. We're gonna do a second set of eight. Okay, as you guys keep going through those, uh, hopefully you have access to a wall, or if you have a door, you can close it, and like lock it, make sure no one's gonna open it while you're doing push-ups on it. But these are a really cool thing you can do at home to strengthen the shoulders and abs, all right? So you keep that navel pulled in the spine, and you should feel it in your abs. We're always flattening the abs when we focus on that and we're doing these exercises at the same time. All right, cool. So I'm gonna assume everybody found a wall. Again, you, there, you can do this next one without the wall. But if you have it, we're gonna do a couple of these sort of squatting exercises, okay? If you don't have the wall, you'll do the same thing without the assistance of the wall. If you have it, I'm gonna demonstrate that. So we're gonna lean up the back into the wall and we're gonna go into some squats. You're actually gonna slide down the wall. Hopefully no one will get mad that you're sliding on your wall. Uh, this is a great tool for maintaining good posture while we do this exercise for our legs, back muscles. Super important balance exercise too, right? We wanna have strong legs and be able to squat really easily to get up and out of a chair. So it's great practice for that. Keep the shoulders back. All right, cool. Now, if you want to try a little more challenge with that, again, you can also do it without the wall, you bring the feet together and go into these little sit to stands. Now, if you're not using a wall, I'm gonna demonstrate it here on the floor. I've got my feet together and I'm doing a sit to stand. Okay, it's actually more challenging without a wall because we don't have that additional support. Okay, one more. All right, excellent. All right, so we're gonna move into a couple of stretches today. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna stand 
uh, anywhere. Uh, come up out of the wall, if you're against the wall, toes pointed forward. Then it's gonna roll down through the spine. So you're gonna roll down, this is a back stretch, also a balance exercise. Now to come up, start to turn your pelvis forward and just kind of roll back up from there. We're gonna do that a couple more times, about three more. Start with the chin, bringing it down. And you wanna feel that your arms are heavy. You got a little puppy down there, you can pet your little puppy. And we'll come back up. Okay, chin down, roll down. Right. Maybe you're looking at your floor, thinking, oh boy, I need to vacuum it. Or I'm glad, <laughs> oh boy, I'm glad I vacuumed it, right? You can inspect it, right? Now some of you may not be coming quite as far down as I am. That's really common. I see most people coming down through here. Although I do have some people that come down to their wrists and even on their elbows, which is more rare, but still a nice stretch. And a great way to check in with your body, right? You go, huh, oh, I'm pretty tight or oh, I'm doing pretty good. So you can just kind of do a, a personal flexibility a check in that way. All right, cool. So let's come out of that position. Now what we're gonna do is, we're good on time, we've got a few more minutes. We're gonna do um, a little balance exercise. We're gonna practice if you have a wall, that's good. Okay. If you don't have a wall, be careful or modify, but we're gonna practice bringing one leg up, okay? I know it's challenging for a lot of people. That's a real important um, uh, safety thing to be able to do is to be able to balance. But if you can't do it without the wall, use the wall, use a chair, and if you still can't do it like that, please don't do something dangerous. You can keep your feet down, just bring them together and this will provide that balance challenge, okay? So if you can, do this, right? If you can't, do this. And this is another modification. Now, if this is easy for you, which is a little more rare, then bring the leg up higher, okay? All right, so let's do those. We're gonna do one, about 30 seconds on one leg and switch. So everybody get into the position you wanna do. I'm gonna time it. I'm gonna watch the clock. So I'm gonna step out of this position. Everybody stay in your balance challenge position, okay? I'm gonna time you. If you lose it, just get back into it, right? Balance exercise is super important for our core, right? We wanna kind of make the core practical we don't want to fall and we want to we want to be awesome in life right part of that is having a strong core and strong balance as a product of that so good job go ahead and bring your leg down and let's do that on the other leg get wherever you're safe go ahead and begin lift it and i'm going to tell you when we're at 30 seconds I got a little tiny clock there on the corner so go ahead and lift hold it nice and tall always check your posture with that you don't want to be here right if you're on the wall, maybe test it. See if you can uh, take your hand off the wall for a little bit to challenge it. All right, we've got just a few more seconds on that. Five more seconds. Hold it. All right, great. Go and come on down out of that balance challenge stance. All right, cool. So we're gonna do just a couple of standing stretches today, more standing stretches. So the next one we're gonna do is for our feet, okay? The better our feet are, the better they're working, the better we move, the better we feel, and the stronger our core is as a product of that, right? So the more stuff we do, the better we are. So take one foot in front, and we're gonna roll it to the outside of the ankle. This is gonna stretch the outside of the ankle, and coincidentally, these will protect you actually from an injury of rolling the ankle. The more you practice these safely, the less likely injury from rolling the ankle, right? That's what I meant to say. <laughs> So, go ahead and bring that foot back. Let's take the other foot forward and let's roll that one out. You might feel intense stretching sensations through here. These can be really cool for feeling grounding through the body um, because the better our feet feel, the more we feel feet on the floor. Right? Barefoot is better uh, if you can go barefoot, depending on your floor or how your feet are, your medical history. Barefoot is better for everybody because it challenges the muscles and joints in the foot more than shoes. Shoes are kind of like crutches. 
and you don't want to be on a crutch all the time, right? You get used to it. You have to go off the crutch, you're likely to get injured unless you work on it, right? So doing some barefoot training each day can be a great way to strengthen your feet, uh, improve your balance, um, and improve your overall body functioning. And again, the better you feel, the more you move. All right, so I've stepped out into a side position and I'm just kind of rolling the ankle inside now to do an inside of the ankle stretch. And we're gonna do that on the other foot. I'm so happy everybody tuned in today to this class. Um, it's so important to stay healthy when we're, when we're at home. We've got this um, lockdown, right? So you can use this time to really get better. And maybe you could even work out a little more regularly now that you don't have to drive somewhere and manage the schedule so much with your other errands. So it can be a great time to maintain your workouts, maintain some strength, or maybe you're starting to build a little more strength that you haven't been able to be, to be regular before. So that's a little bit over. I went 31 minutes, or th yeah, 31 minutes. So thanks everybody for tuning in. Again, my name is Holly Thompson. If you have any comments uh, about the class, please email me. My email address is Holly Thompson and the number one at mac.com. Holly, T-H-O-M-P-S-O-N, number one at mac.com. I hope to see you guys again soon. Stay healthy, stay home, and take care of yourselves.